My name is Beverly Anderson, and I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. The center didn't start overnight. I've been here 13 years. It was all white walls. I decided to focus on teenagers when I first came here. I built a relationship with teenagers. We did a lot of different activities. I taught them about you know, going to college or being a blue collar worker, trying to get them to figure out what it is that they want to do other than hanging outside on the green box. The green box was a place where kids uh, hung out that didn't go to school or got into a lot of trouble or were you know, using drugs and things like that. But I found that that was just a rumor because when I first started working here, instead of staying in the building, I went out to hang out with those kids on that green box instead of listening to the stereotypes. And what I found was some pretty talented children. I just focused on everything that's good. And what was good was I had a bunch of young minds, big bright brown eyes, and they were just eager to try something new. I have a child now who's top of her class at Howard University in DC. She's been on the Dean's list since um, she began her college career. She's gonna graduate next year and she's getting all these awards and accolades. And this is a little girl, when I met her, her self-esteem was like under the building. She really didn't think she was pretty. She didn't think she was worthy. And she thought it was not cool to be smart. Oftentimes when you serve a community like this, people come and go and they come and go and there's no stability. But once I proved to them that I'm not gonna go anywhere, um, I was able to build really solid relationships. So my dream here is for those kids to dream just like any other kid, to be a regular kid, to embrace who you are, your culture, your heritage, and also know the importance of education. I just want them to be happy and understand that they have the potential to do whatever it is that they set their minds to do. And they don't have to worry about stereotypes. And they don't have to live their lives vicariously through someone else. That they have their own little life. And when they become old enough to take control of it, they need to have all the tools and guides to be able to do that. Mm -hmm.